hello everyone welcome to the laravel tips and tricks so today video is about how you can apply the middleware through the controller and specify the middleware on a specific routes so in the previous videos uh, in the previous video i explained that how you can apply a middleware for these uh, three routes and how you can skip the middleware for a specific one by using this prefix so if you are using prefix and you want to remove uh, uh, you remove a middleware from a specific one so how you can do this so now i'm, I'm going to uh, shoot this same example with the controller view right so i have these three routes test slash one test slash two three and these are opening these three methods of the controller so now let me go to the controller controller is very simple one two and three right so here let me first add the prefix uh, route group okay i'm not going to implement the middleware from this route i'm going to implement the middleware from the controller end so you can also specify your uh, spe specify your middleware method uh, from the controller side okay so here i'm going to add this test okay and then i don't want to apply the middleware i'm just going to group this out okay and let me add this on the new line and here now i'm going to cut this out and let me remove this test slash one test I remove this test from there so now this uh, test is added at the top so now one two and three right so here i want to apply the middleware on one and three i don't want to apply the middleware on this uh, second one so now let's go to the controller and here there is a constructor of every class so let i function constructs okay construct and in the constructor i'm going to implement to this okay and then i need to call the middleware okay so here i'm going to call this is admin right so this uh, is admin will be applied on all of the method of this controller right so if i go here and uh, let's visit this uh, test slash two so now this middleware is, uh, is applied on this test two also and it yes it's returned as spec and in the previous videos i uh, showed you that uh, what's the middleware is doing so basically it's finding the first user and checking that if this name is exist if not exist i miss this c here so that's why it's not going to find this and then returning back on the home page otherwise it's going to execute this one right so now here we applied this on all of the methods but we don't want to apply this on the on this two method so how we can do this so just to here you need to add a property of accept and then you need to call this two this is a method name two you need to call this two and if i go back and add this uh, here test slash two and now i'm going to open this so uh, test slash two and yes now this is open but if i visit this uh, test slash one so it's not going to open this route and return us back on the home page and yes it's returned back there is one more property you can apply it on only specific one right so here you need to call only method and then this only accept uh, your uh, your method name so i want to apply this on one okay and then i want to apply this on this three right so now uh, here let's uh, visit this uh, test slash one first okay it's returned us back and if i go here and type oh, test slash two so it's going to allow us to open this test slash two and yes we are successfully able to open this test two so in this way you can specify your uh, specify your middleware on specific methods right but if you want don't want to apply this from this uh, middleware so you can check my previous video where i explained that how you can apply this uh, through these routes and i'm also big fan of uh, applying this through the routes uh, i learned it from the pavillas corp which is a laravel daily instructor and he is explaining the laravel things in a very well way so here you need to apply the middleware and then you can call without middleware and then you need to pass the middleware and this will this middleware will, uh, will not be applied on this specific route so hope you uh, hope you get an idea that how you can implement it without a specific method 
so if you like this video subscribe the youtube channel and stay connected for daily videos i will meet you in the next one bye bye